This is Dr. Greg Mendel, your friendly anatomy professor. We are looking at the gluteus maximus on this model. If you look at the glute max, you can see obviously it's on both sides. And when you pull the gluteus maximus off, underneath it we have the gluteus medius and the piriformis and a whole bunch of little bitty muscles that are helping with movement of the, and stabilization of the leg and the lower trunk. The gluteus maximus is originating here and inserting into the glute, sorry, gluteal tuberosity and we'll take a look at that on the skeleton. So when we look at the skeleton, we see that the origin is on the lateral aspect here of the uh, sacrum and at the posterior lateral aspect of the ilium. So we have here on the lateral aspect of the posterior iliac crest and the sacrum, the lateral inferior sacrum. So these are the origins, and then that muscle comes down and inserts right here on the gluteal tuberosity of the posterior aspect of the femur. And its whole job is if you could imagine that you're doing a squat, and so if the leg's up like this, this muscle contracts and pulls it down. And so it's powerful for helping you stand up. And so when you do a squat, you contract that muscle and it pushes the femur into extension. 